the next day make sure they're gonna sneak up on me now Everybody, what's up? It's your girl Chani K, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I think, will be my very first story time, and we're going to be talking about the vaccine. All right, so I have a little setup here. I got my water. I was actually trying to find a bottle of wine, but um, my sister drank it all, so water it is. And I also have El Frute, and I'm just sitting in the backyard of. Um, I have watched them and kind of now catch me off guard. And I'm just sitting in the back of um, Benz's house. I'm not gonna give them any of this because they're gonna come over here. I'm gonna want to don't bite me. Oh my God, they're in the pond. It's so cute. Let me show you. Oh my God, that's so cute. It's going to be kind of a long video, so grab a snack, grab your popcorn, get some wine, juice, whatever, and let's talk. So, you know, the pandemic, COVID-19, made everything such a shit show for everyone, right? So, I'm in Jamaica, you know, Jamaica's locked down and all this, and you know, a whole bunch of protocols and everything happening. So, we're now at a point where I feel like they want everyone to take the vaccine, or I think that in a while to enter certain countries or to fly, they're gonna make it mandatory for you to have the vaccine, right? Which I am not totally against the vaccine, but I feel like if you're gonna do it, do your research. Like I said, I'm not totally against it. I personally didn't want to take the vaccine that was being offered in Jamaica because I know I could come you know, to the US and take it anyway, which is exactly what I did, right? So being that, um, you know, being in the States, I was like, all right. And being the fact that I travel so much, I was like, all right, boom, I'm just going to take the Johnson & Johnson, being that it's one shot. I could take it, go back to Jamaica, take it and travel, you know, wherever else that I want to go and it'll be no issues. So then now, a few days before I come to the States, they have the thing that say, oh, Johnson & Johnson, blood clot and this. And I'm like, oh shit, like, well, like, I don't want to have no blood clots like, you know, your girl China K is still young and jiving. My eggs aren't cracked yet. You know what I'm saying? There's shit that I want to do with my life that I haven't gotten a chance to do yet. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe that's not a good idea. I had put it in my Instagram story. And then my friend messaged me and said, well, you could get blood clots also from taking birth control. And I'm like, well, yeah, shit, you're right. Because for years I was on birth control and if you know that if you take birth control or contraceptives you know that having blood clots is one of the side effects um, that affects certain women luckily um, I would like to say that I'm in perfect health so that wasn't you know an issue for me but I still don't want to purposely take anything or you know take drugs or whatever you know that's gonna have like major side effects for whatever reason so I didn't like then the fact that somebody died and then the CDC stopped you know rec uh, recommended stopping the vaccine so I'm like well okay shit then then there goes my chance so you know in the states now I'm like all right well you know depends on how long I want to be here or you know whenever I want to get up and fly again I know that for the Moderna I think it's like 28 days you take the second shot and I think for Pfizer it's 21 days right so I'm like all right well you know I have to plan you know around that whole thing so when you do get the shot you can fly when you get the shot right so I meant to get it like as soon as I got here but then for some reason I started feeling like kind of nervous in a sense um, because they are approved for emergency uses right so in a sense I was kind of nervous I did do my research to find out you know more about it and the effects and everything like that and Ben's already took her vaccine she took you know she had her two shots she's fully vaccinated my dad is also fully vaccinated and I've been talking to them about you know their symptoms if any or whatever Ben's was fine and my dad was fine so they both took it and them still I leave them all right so I kind of delayed for a few days you know being here to take the vaccine or not to take it and then 
I eventually took it. So I went to CVS, but yeah, CVS offers it, Walmart, Walgreens, pretty much all the pharmacies and stuff like that. You know, your doctor or, you know, hospital or whatever, and the vaccine is free. So I scheduled my appointment. I read through all the, um, you know, all the fine prints, all the questions they're asking you if you're allergic to this, you're allergic to that. And I was like, all right, this is it. And I don't know, for some reason, I was like low-key kind of nervous. Set the appointment for one third of the day. And I went and I took the vaccine. And this is how it went. So you've taken yours already? Both? Yeah, I got them. I was going into long-term care facilities. So I got them like way back in January, February. I think I had the first one in January, second one in February. Is it one vial per person? No, you can do with Pfizer, it's six doses per vial. Oh, nice. And then with Moderna, I think it was five. So you like overfill it a little bit, get all the air bubbles out, and then you put it to the right amount, which is 0 0.3. Okay. <laughs> so after taking the vaccine, you know, you had to sit in an area for 15 minutes just to make sure. When she stuck me, I literally felt nothing and nothing to the point she said, oh, there's no blood. You don't even need a band-aid. I'm like, all right, cool. So then, you know, I went over in the area and I sat down or whatever and that was it. Like I felt fantastic, you know, for the rest of that day and I felt fantastic, you know, the rest of the night. So then now, um... The next day, make sure they're gonna sneak up on me now. All right, so the next day, literally 24 hours to the time, I'm sitting there packing up Jolly Fair orders. I'm drinking a smoothie like I do every morning. And I started feeling cold and I'm like, damn, like, you know, the smoothie's making me cold. But like, when the smoothie done, I was still cold. So I started feeling cold, like it went in like steps. So I started feeling cold. And then I started feeling shivery. And then I just started feeling weird. Like weird as in like you feel like you're about to get sick, but not really. Like almost about to get a flu, but not really. Then I had like a little headache and then I'm gonna go like this. And then I had a fever, but very, very, very mild. Like all the symptoms were very mild. And I looked at the clock and I'm like, what the fuck is, you know, like I'm thinking like what, what's going on? And then it dawned on me like, duh, like you took the shot. And like, you know, from what I've read and stuff like that, people say they've gotten like, um, you know, certain symptoms. And by the way, I forgot to mention that um, people on my Instagram told me and for what I've heard before, before you take the shot, you know, they recommend taking like Tynadol or Panadol or something like that, which I did. I actually did take two um, Tylenol before I went. So anyways, though, I'm going to look on the clock. It was almost literally like 24 hours to yesterday or the day before when I took the shot. I didn't go to the gym that day because when I went like this, like my arm was low key sore. And sore as in like, it felt like you went to the gym and you worked out a lot. So that's how it felt. Um, nothing crazy. So I kind of kept my arm like, <laughs> like this for the day. And then like, I was fine. After I took the two tine and all, um, I ended up feeling fine. I had a lot of work to do. So I didn't feel the need to go lay down and rest. Like I could have, but then I, in my head, because I have so many things that I want to accomplish, I was like, well, if I take a break, then, you know, you lose out on doing something when you can't just do whatever you're doing. Like, not, not I'm, I'm not doing anything hectic. I'm mostly like on a computer doing stuff. So like, I felt like I could have done that. So I just continued with my day and my work. And then by nighttime, come now I rested. And then I think I must have taken like another two Tylenols like later on in the night and then I was fine. I don't even think I needed to take the other two, honestly. And then moving forward from that day, the next day after the vaccine, I was fine. My shoulder was better. I went to the gym. I was fine. And like, 
I mean, you could still kind of ish feel it. Like now it's like, now I think it's like three days after the vaccine. No, it's four days since I've taken a vaccine and like I'm fine. Like I went to the gym, like you could tell like, you know, like when you have a pimple and like you rub your hand over the pimple, you feel like a sensation. It's the same thing like here, like you could feel like it's still like a little bit sore. So I'm going to admit something that I have never admitted before besides my close friends and family that I actually caught the COVID virus um, in 2020. I think it was last year. I actually caught the virus in August or July. So it was either sometimes at the end of July or the beginning of August. Let me tell you the story. So I'm in Jamaica, haunted as fuck. I'm used to traveling, being all over the place and whatever. And I got an invite to go to Mexico. Some of the Jamaican like, no, no, go on and whatever. I'm like, well, shit, like you say in Mexico, you say in Tulum, you say in Cancun, you say in China, K, right? So I was like, all right, fine drove to Montego Bay, caught the flight, was in Cancun, living it up in this huge ass villa, doing my thing. I'm taking tequila shots, almost passed out from eating a weed brownie that I had no business eating. I swear to God, guys, it's another story time. I thought I was going to die because I don't do drugs or anything. I might drink like every now and then, but when I know a waffle up in my head, go try that weed brownie there and I drink tequila on top of that worst decision ever anyways that's for next time um where we stayed in cancun it was a private villa and it was like 10 or 9 of us we did our temperature checks you know i had my own room everybody had their own room you know we ate together and whatever um we were leaving the monday and i think it was either the sunday or the saturday night we actually went to a hotel to have dinner and that was the first time we were mixing and mingling with like hella people and it was entertainment night so you know we were dancing and there's hella people also there um i don't remember if i had my mask on if i'm gonna be a hundred percent honest i don't remember if i did i have to look back on on footage but i did sometimes and you know we did the whole thing washing hands when you go in a hotel sanitize temperature check we did all of that right anyways boom so after cancun i head to jersey um for a week and then after Jersey for a week I said I'm gonna come to South Carolina to spend some time with mom so boom now leaving Mexico was great you know they have the protocols I must say even going into Mexico and leaving every minute somebody I clean I wipe I this I kept my mask on throughout my flights and everything right got to Jersey now and I just remember feeling like so tired so tired and I chalked it up to it being that I was flying. It wasn't no long flight like Bali or Thailand or nothing, but I'm gonna know. I just felt like, oh, you know what? Maybe like, you know, I'm just tired from flying or whatever. I just need some rest. Like, I'm never in at a chat in. I'm never want to hang out with my friend. Nothing like that. So, got to my other friend's house now. And, like, you know, people want to hang out because, oh my God, just don't come over here. So, people wanted to hang out and thing. And, I just feel like I just never in the mood. Like, you know, sometimes when you just can't, but I would have chatted in on them something that like, for some reason, that's how I felt. And I didn't know why. Like, I remember I had a, um, an appointment to go to the eye doctor. I did go and do that. But I still felt so tired and I still felt so weak. But, you know, I went ahead and I did one and two things that I wanted to, business that I wanted to take care of. Um, don't look at me. You know that I wanted to take care of in Jersey and thing, and I was like, "All right, cool." Then now I had to travel again. Got to South Carolina, and I remember I did a video, and I mom didn't know I was coming, so I surprised her. And in the video, she was coming up to me, and I was like, "Wait, wait, hold on, let me shower and stuff first, because you know I've been traveling, and they've been, you know, in the house or whatever, away from outside visitors, so to speak." And she hasn't seen me since September last year. Can I get some breakfast? <laughs> okay, I get some breakfast. Can I get some breakfast? Don't hug me yet. Let me shower. Hi. Hi.
Hi, friends. Hello. You are something else. You are something else. Hi, friends. Mm. I want to be it first. <laughs> you are something else. So, anyways, I'm there. And actually, um, I was only supposed to be there for a week. I know, like, you know, you had to take a COVID test to come back to Jamaica. It wasn't mandatory, but recommended at the time. And I wanted to make sure that, you know, I had no issues coming back into the country. So I wanted to make sure that, you know, I showed them like, you know, yeah, I did take a COVID, um, you know, um, something there. And it was negative and whatever. So da 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 no. And I was like, yeah, you know, I'm going to shoot hella TikToks. I'm going to do mad videos. I'm going to do mad content, blah, blah. But every time I was supposed to do that, I just felt so tired i never had a fever i never felt like what does it feel tired right so then now it was like the day before i was gonna leave or something like that the, the, the flight was scheduled for i ended up finally feeling better finally like chunking up some 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 kind of energy and i remember i did like a silly TikTok in the road with um with my sister in my head i don't know what you're thinking now to the ground and pulled out a ring and said marry me juliet you never have to be alone i love you and that's all and i did that was when i did the famous video of me telling my mom that i'm going to feed the ducks and she when ape shit on me. No, no, I'm saying which one of the birds can I said you cannot use nothing to go here to feed nothing. When you feed the duck, the geese and duck, and I call the people them and I stop it. So they put on they put on pink on him that he can't feed no birds. So which one of these can I use? The whole week? I went ahead, took the COVID uh, test at CVS. Um, the, the test at CVS. So the Sunday morning, now may I sleep and I dream. The phone rings like really early Sunday morning. I was like, hello. She's like, hi, is this Miss Collins? And I said, yeah, this is her. She's like, hi, um, I just wanted to call and tell you that um, your COVID test actually came back positive. And I said, I said, <laughs> I said, wait, I said, what did you say? She's like, yeah, your COVID test came back positive. I said, positive she's like yeah and um i just need to know what's going on and she's asking for these bag of, you know this bag of information and this and this trying to figure out like when it was that i i got it and this and that and i'm telling her like a time and she's like okay you're probably like infected somewhere around like the very end of july or like the beginning of august or something like that and i'm like i'm like so what's gonna happen and i immediately started being fearful like i thought i was gonna have a panic attack not for me, but for the fact that I was around my family. You understand? I'm around Ben's, we going to breakfast, I'm shooting duck video, like I'm around my sister, like when everybody was fine until I decided to show up. You get what I'm saying? And I'm freaking out, not for me, but I'm freaking out for them and the people that I saw along the way, you know, when I had it and didn't know that I had it. And I was like, oh my God. And then my mind flashed to the news. Cause you know, on the news they show like, you know, Tommy was fine. And then the next day, Tommy turned into a shit show and he's at the hospital on a ventilator. And then Tommy dead or Tommy's fighting for his life. So I'm like, oh my God. I said, am I going to get like really, really sick? She's like, well, I don't know, but you know, just you know, just isolate yourself from here on forward, blah, 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 da, 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 da. I was freaking out. You know, when I see how my mother is, and when I tell you that was not a conversation to have, that was not a conversation to have with Ben. She flipped out. She said, Gary, anything there, Rhoda Giwe, you must catch it, and this and that. And I was like, oh my God, like, ah! Take time, take time, okay? Okay. Okay. Take time. Anyways, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> so, does anything I give you, road You must catch it and this and that and whatever. So, she was actually coming in my room, and I said, "Wait, stop!" And I told her from like across the distance, and then she cussed for a little bit, and then she went outside my window. And cost me some more. 
but I was it was it was crazy because then not only could I not come back to Jamaica or nothing like that I had to isolate myself for more than 14 days it said 14 days but basically like me in another room I'm stay in and I'm keep your body warm nighty I only came out to use the bathroom bed and go back I did not move mom and Katie took such good care of me like it was more than I could ask for like I was in my room I had my laptop I had my phone you have the internet you have Netflix I could do work and I was fed morning noon and night my sister made some blend blend and some green juice and this and that I was taking elderberry I'm taking sea moss I'm taking NyQuil I'm doing every damn thing you get me and I realized that I couldn't taste. I just thought like, you know, you, you know, you know stuff is something I can't taste things, but I lost my sense of taste and smell because the kind of green juice where she mash up and make up, I didn't know I want in it, but I couldn't taste it. Like I couldn't taste like the kick, like ingredients with a kick. So like I could taste like a little bit of ginger and I could taste like a little bit of celery. Cause you know, those ingredients are kind of like, um, what do you call that word there? Them kind of, strong so i tasted those but they took care of me and i you know ate every day when i got up i had wipes i got up i put wipes in my hand and that's how i opened the door closed the door when i used the bathroom i wipe off the toilet seat i would use um you know only one sink i would clean up and then you know go in and stuff like that they took really good care of me mom communicated with me either on the phone or when she come from the outside of the window that's when she would talk to me and i just felt haunted like just being in the room i just felt haunted but i was happy that i was isolated from everyone if you get what i'm saying and i ended up taking now it's been like a week and change right i'm feeling great i'm fine my start to feel like more come out now and thing but i didn't and i ended up taking another covid test so i'm like yeah man all right i'm gonna take that test here now i'm gonna get the test the results back in a three days i can now go ahead and you know book my flight to come back and blah blah i'm gonna check the system now the the results still step positive and i said oh my god like at that point i felt like i was gonna like i felt like i think i cried and i said to mom i said you know some of feel like the location and maybe they must sabotage the covid test or something because i feel fine i look great i'm feeling like my normal self you get me and i'm like why do i even like why like i'm fine so anyways the test said positive so i had to cancel the flight and wait some more and i waited and i waited and i stayed and then my took another test again and the test came back negative and I was really happy and then just to double check I waited again a few more days and I took another test and it came back negative so in instance I took two positive I got two positive COVID results and then I got two negative COVID results and then that's when I booked my flight came back to Jamaica and they still put me in quarantine and I said I was you know in Mexico she was like yeah you know where she's like you're high risk because you know you were in Mexico and Mexico is on the list of high risk and and I was like yeah but I was just like in quarantine at my mom's for like 14 days and now I'm fine and she's like yeah it doesn't matter so then I was again in my apartment in Jamaica for another 14 days and they didn't did they test me no they didn't test me or anything it's, I just had the app on my phone or whatever but I was good I didn't leave or anything like that so it's so crazy and I think like everybody's situation with catching COVID is so different. One thing that happened to me that I really couldn't find a lot of research on was I literally did not get my period for like two months. Two months. I must have like did the nasty like before I left sometime in July and I didn't get my period until like maybe like the end of September, beginning of October. That's when I got my period. And like I took literally like five pregnancy tests. They were all negative. And I was like, I think it's the COVID, but I couldn't find enough data on how having the virus affected, you know, your period or anything like that. So then no. The craziest thing is nobody that I was around caught it. 
not my mom when i shot the whole duck video like i said i had covid when i was hanging out with my sister outside i had covid um and nothing they didn't catch covid my mom didn't catch it her husband didn't catch it katie and didn't catch it and nobody that i was around in jersey nobody caught it which is so weird because like i said puss and dog now have the same luck and what i'm for you now i'm for me but you know how they say like once you're around someone that's how it spreads like being around somebody that was positive and blah 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 but like nothing happened and i am just so happy and so grateful because i don't think i could live with myself knowing that my family's here good and fine and then all of a sudden me come now with my crossy self and give them covid and them dead off or you know they get really sick or something like that like i could not live with myself if that hap if i made that happen you know what i mean and i'm just so thankful and forever grateful that not like that never happens in another drawback i would say with having the virus i think it's the time that it takes from you and let me explain so imagine you know you're on the go you're doing things whatever i didn't get time i didn't get my normal life back until like mid-october i would say and that's from the end of july I think I left Jamaica like the 27, 28, something like that of July, right? With all the quarantining that you have to do, it really takes time away from you doing things. Luckily for me, all my jobs and everything that I do for the most part is online based. But, you know, for the fact that you're like staying home, you can't make no moves. If you want to make no moves, I'll go hang out or do nothing if you want to do that because you have to stay put and, uh, and isolated from everyone. So I would say it's just takes a lot of time from you and it takes time to like, you know, get back on track. By the time I come out of quarantine, I swear to God, I just wanted to draw my chair outside and just people watch. Like literally, that's what I wanted to do the way how I was so happy to be out of, you know, quarantine. So it was one of my concerns. So I said, to, so when you have COVID, you do have the antibodies. So it'll prevent you from catching COVID like again that's for some people um and for me i could say that was true for me because i was around someone that was positive later like later on um you know like a few months after or whatever i was around someone that was positive with the covid virus and they tested positive and i tested negative so you know that was good like nothing nothing happened to me but i think they say like after a while it kind of wear off or whatever i don't know you know they might do research and whatever so i was happy you know what i mean so i'm like happy go lucky me can i go out with my mask can i you know whatever but you know i still took precautions and stuff like that so when it came to taking a vaccine now i was like well you know the lady was like i told her that you know what happens if you take the vaccine if you had covid before and i think she said as long as you didn't have it like recently then it's fine when i told her no like it was you know like months ago or whatever so she said okay that's fine and so i think she says like I'm double protected because like, you know, I had the virus before and, you know, I have the antibodies from that and doing the vaccine now kind of like, you know, top up that now to make it like, you know, good, good, good. So that's what ended up happening. So another concern of mine was does the vaccine affect your reproductive system as a female and, you know, whatever it would do for a male? because i haven't had any kids as yet i do want to have some in the near future and i wanted to know if the vaccine would have any like you know any effects on on that like you know is the baby gonna come out some kind of whatever or you know what's gonna happen and of course you know no one for research no did it when it comes to um when it comes to finding that part out as yet so that's something that you know like i think about but i think i should be fine there's one um i'm gonna put it so you guys could see it there was one um like a vaccine that was taken back in the day i believe it was england can't remember the name i right now but i will put it so you guys could see it google it and you see it was a vaccine that mothers took and their babies came out deformed af but you know that was them time there and now it's a little bit different that's it so for anyone that wants to take the vaccine, I would say 
do your research and do what you feel like is best and what you think that would work for you i would say don't go with like conspiracy theorists you know make sure your source is coming from a credible site definitely the cdc definitely you know the ministry of health wherever you could find credible information that makes sense like do your research like don't listen to like a random person on instagram or like a youtube video of like you know crazy things that's all them up put chip in your body and shit like that all right do your research you get me and take whichever one that you feel that's good for you i still have to take my second shot um so maybe i'll do another update video with how i feel after taking the second shot but um so far like i said it's been a few days i feel great i feel fine um nothing happened so yeah that's it all right I don't know, the strawberry is kind of like sour and sweet, but it's banging. So if you guys have any questions or comments, put it in the, you know, comment it. And I'll try to answer as much as I can on this issue based on my personal experience. But like I said, I recommend you guys, you know, doing your own research and do what's best for you. I think if you, if you travel or want to get back to normal, I think you're going to make it kind of like, a mandatory thing to get but do what's best for you and your family and that's it so thanks for tuning in to i guess my first story time i have hella stories to come so if you like videos like this definitely leave in the comments let me know give this video a like make sure you subscribe if you haven't before and um share this video okay bye <laughs>